In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with you as well. Hello, everyone. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. Easter season is over, but we celebrate our faith, knowing that indeed God is with us, giving us the relationship of His love with His Son, Jesus, and their dynamic Holy Spirit. To prepare ourselves, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you show the way to new life, Lord and mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the source of truth, Christ and mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the sign of the Father's love, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Man of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you will honor the Holy One, you will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, may know to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the one who is God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do you come along in our company? This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Glory and praise forever. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted, above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of our holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Our second reading is from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that, that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Trinity is the most dynamic and most powerful symbol that we have as believers, as Christian believers. It's a doctrine, it's a doctrine, it's a dogma that was given to us from the fourth century, knowing that indeed it's impossible for us to really name God, to, uh, uh, to figure out how God exists. But we know that God is beyond our human interpretations, but the fathers of the church came up with this divine inspiration to call God three persons in one God, Father, His Son, and their loving spirit. During this pandemic, the thought that came to me very strongly is that the need for compassion. To be compassionate means, literally, it means to suffer with. We are all suffering, but we suffer, we're suffering not alone, but with each other and as a community. God is with us in our pain. God is with us. His Son Jesus suffered for us that we may be saved, and that love, that mercy, that passion continues as we share in our faith. At this time, let us be mindful of those who are suffering in our community, those who are sick. We pray for those who are suffering from racial discrimination, that they may be somehow listened to, that we may hear each other in our pain, that we may be united as God's people. So today, as we celebrate our faith on this Feast of the Holy Trinity, we know that we move forward as people of God, as witnesses to God's mercy and love, as a community of faith. The expression to keep a social distance is something that I don't like. We don't keep socially distant, rather we need to keep physically distant at this time. Socially we are united, we're not distant, but we are close to each other in faith. So today let us be mindful of this trinity, God's loving power, God's compassionate healing, as we pray. believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We confidently present our petitions before our faithful God who hears our concerns. For vocations to all the ministries of the church, priesthood, religious life, lay and diaconal ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the ministries of public life, civic leadership, education, health, community service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the ministries of liturgical life and prayer, to the conversion of hearts and minds to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the strength to mend our ways and to live in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, for those who are suffering, for their caregivers, for those who are first responders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to racial discrimination, that we may be united as one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, you unite your people with love. Hear the prayers we offer for the church and the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. What? Well, must be God yeah, forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Creator. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, the sublation of our service, and by it make us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you reveal to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, and all those who give of ministry and service within your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, our patrons, and all the saints who are pleased to throughout the ages, you may merit to be coerced to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With trust and confidence in the living God, let us now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your followers, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but rather on the faith that we share as your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with you as well. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take and away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So we pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with you as well. May God's blessing be upon us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended today. We go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thank, Thank you. Have a blessed week, everyone. We pray for you as you hope pray for me.